This is my 10 inch bin speakers, point source speakers. You can see there's a, a little spring clip I've made, clips on the side of the speaker and there's nylon thread pulling on the tweeter and the hole right through the speaker. But I'll tell you how I modified this cone so you can learn a bit. Notice there's balsa wood on there and that's to stiffen the cone. Can't see it around here, there it is. And I've done a few attempts of it, tweaking it. Now I just want to grab the speaker and turn it up the right way. Notice there's balsa wood there too. And there's the tweeter mounted in the middle. The idea of the balsa wood is that I buggered up the cones by doing an experiment. Just around there you can see where there's cardboard just there, that cardboard is stuck on the cone. I actually cut through the cone there to make it sound like the mid range is coming out of, sm of a smaller speaker and to give it a, more of a lighter tone rather than being really boomy like through a big speaker like this and it was partially successful the voice was nice and light and it sounded great but there's only one problem it sounded choffy as well especially in the drums were bocky and all that no, no good acoustically just tonally when it comes to tone it's just up the creek totally up the creek so what you do you don't do any sort of you don't kink the tone, cone you don't tink the cone you don't kink the cone radially in, in any way no way because all you get is a choffy sound as well as your nice light mid range so if you can really see there look I kink that just with a, an object, like a screwdriver or something. Push that in fairly hard, but, but only just going in about 10 or 20% of the speaker, just to put a kink on it. And that made a really lot of difference. And it's not going radially, it's going 90 degrees to that. That's important. And it gives it a nice light mid range. And it also stops the speaker from ringing as much, you know because you get a ring in a certain frequency with big speakers, of course, or any speaker you do, but especially these big ones. Now, because it's going opposite to what I started off, 90 degrees to the radial thing, it doesn't produce the trophy sound, but you still get the light mid-range. That, that's the important thing. You know, you don't want that trophy sound, you know, it's just terrible. But now they sound great, the mid-range sounds like come from a five-inch speaker. And you've got a compromise, you've still got a little bit of boom in your voice. But you've got this light, area sound, like a small speaker, with it. And it's just the right sort of compromise, because it really sounds the best. Like that. You haven't got that choppy sound, and the, the drum isn't bocky. Um, so that's what I want to tell you. It really works good, but you've got to do it right. There's lots of things. And I put the balsa wood on originally because I tried to get rid of the choffy sound. Also, when you've got the radial perforation like that, it stops your bass. You only get half the bass because the actual cone flexes. When it goes with this way, you don't lose any bass. And so, you know, and it's just so much better. It's a discovery I made. The balsa wood still helps, of course. All these balsa things, it's very light wood. They all act like whizzer cones. And you just get that little bit sharper sound. And also it ensures that the base is really great because it keeps the cone really stiff. Thank you YouTube.